Baked Team Battle has had only three maps added since the launch of the game back in December of 2021. Two of those maps were added only recently back in Season 3 and 4 for those updates. The Bigger Team Battle was one of the selling points for the launch of the game, then to only receive three maps over the course of two and a half years has left BTB feeling very stale. Thanks to 343 collaborating with the Forge community, we finally had new maps just added to the game. Four original maps of Fortitude, Insolence, Obituary, and Thunderhead, and one remake of the classic Halo 2 map Headlong called Refuge. And I already know, in the comments, there will be people saying, oh, we want dev-made maps and 343's being lazy, relying on the Forge community. And well, I want dev made maps as well as they just have a certain level of polish and fidelity that a Forge map still can't create, though Forge in this game is very good. Realistically though, we know that 343 are pivoting away from Infinite for new projects, according to the community director sketch. So Infinite just isn't getting the resources needed for dev made maps. Though maps like Thunderhead, Fortitude, and Refuge are so well made, you wouldn't even realize that they are Forge maps. So I'm totally fine with 343 relying on the Forge creations to keep the player base satiated for some new content. I will admit that Obituary and Insolence definitely look forge made but they play great and the performance on them is actually fantastic for all these maps actually. I brought my friend BBK Dragoon to try out these maps and to talk a little bit about the news going around with Xbox and some of those exclusives coming out to PlayStation and why the Master Chief Collection is oddly getting an update soon for some odd reason and trying to see if those dots are potentially connected which we will absolutely cover the news from the Xbox podcast coming out on the 15th so make sure to subscribe to catch the news when it comes out and a like is always appreciated on the video also uh, I don't hate on me too much but I, I made the switch back to controller well, I'm on controller, so <laughs> yeah. No, there's no hate. I gave up on it. It looked like Avalanche at the start. This looks good. Is it? This, I played this map before. It's a, it's very reminiscent of like, uh, oh god, what's that Halo Two containment? That Halo Two map. Yeah. Yeah. Very similar to that. Well, we're rolling for a ride here. Okay. I'm okay with that. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. After all that rank. <laughs> Wait, there's a radar. What is this? <laughs> this is sweet, dude. The game is just playing for you at that point. Yeah, Ryan's the best. I mean, it ranked in Infinite as long as it is the best. It's really. I didn't really understand like what they tweeted. Like, we, your rank is gonna start trending towards what your true rank is. So I feel like it confirmed what everybody thought. Where obviously your social and your account. CSR or whatever is influencing the matchmaker. Yeah, something fuck is going on. I didn't really play a whole lot of rank uh, since the content 29 update. I'll say just because I was just kind of waiting for things to get fixed up before I would jump back in and like sort of try. It, it was really bad at the start and I feel like it started to get better as time went on. I will say so far I'm getting a pretty solid frame rate for this being a forge dude, map. Two hours <laughs> Normally my turret of the computer is like dying. I'm holding 120 steady, dude. And shut. Oh my god, no! Oh, oh, okay! That was a melee, apparently. I mean, it worked in my favor, but I feel bad for the guy. <laughs> I will say, switching to controller, getting D scope, it's like completely jarring now. <laughs> it's really, yeah, it's really abrasive. I, mean, I know, all I do is just use the left stick pretty much, really, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is a good sign. Okay, if, if we can get maps consistently, that's, that's real good content. You know. mm -hmm. BTB has been needing a refresh for so long, too. Yeah, I still, like, I don't want to play high score I really don't. Oh, I get it so many times in a row as well. I hope we get the, uh, was that, I think it's called Thunderhead, I think it, the one map's called. It's kind of set, yeah. like, on a Forerunner type, like, Ancient Forerunner level kind of look to it. And, like, uh, where the Banshee spawns, you, like, spawn, like, super high up in the air, and you do, like, this crazy drop down from the spawn. Really? Yeah, okay, it's... that's cool. That's a cool map. That was a fast. That's a super fast Slayer match. Mm -hmm. Dude, when this is sick. Let's go. I... Yeah. Oh my gosh. The rowback. I remember. Do you remember? That's right. <laughs> Dude, these member berries are delicious. Oh, it's CTF. Oh my god, the atmosphere on this thing is so freaking good. This is this definitely is one of those maps where you're like, you would, if you didn't tell me it was a forward trap, I'd make, believe it was like a dev made map. But I'm saying, like, this is good enough. You know what I mean? I know people want to complain about the visuals, but I'm like, bro, this is a map editor map. 
Come on. The banded Evo? It is a banded Evo. Let's go. Yes! Got him back! I should let the side path spawn like right here. My reach, my reach feels are tingling right now. Oh, there it is. I found the sniper. Let's go. I think we have to return. Now we did. Am I? That was a lie. Oh, I got him with the Ravager. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, bro. Plasma pistol doesn't EMP vehicles in this game, right? Right. That's an interesting choice. I wonder why they went with that. I don't think it's because you got like the disruptor and you got shock nade yeah, as well. Right. Yeah. You, get, like, you got plenty of other things to disable vehicles. And plus, like, they're not really that strong either. Like, this banshee can take it out with a core snipe shot as well. Honestly, it'd be sick if they, uh, what is the weapon called? The, the Ravager? The red one? That does, like, the area of effect that you charge it up. Yeah. That would not suck. I think they should be okay. Not that that will ever happen. It should just buff, like, the, uh, the charge shot with, like, the AOE on it. So, like, it can actually be, like, an area of denial kind of weapon. I like that, yeah. you know, that AOE design. I don't know if we've ever had anything like that. I would just think it's a bummer, that, like, especially, like, on, uh, maps like... Uh, up here. Recharge, right? Damn it. On like uh like the B stronghold. Like mm -hmm. it just screams for like use a ravager on charge on a ravager on it to kinda of deny people from jumping on it, but never see it there. Oh man, that thing caused mega fall off. Oh yeah, dude. Oh no. Wait, I got a couple shots. I'm gonna go. I'm going in! Yes! Give me your ghost! No! Did you see that MCC is getting a mysterious update later this week? Uh, I think I saw something like that. Yeah, it was like it was something about like saying like yeah, like your Halo Three mods might like need to get like re re put together or something like that, right? I wonder why. <laughs> What's later this week? <laughs> Cryptic update saying you might need to update your mods for compatibility's sake. Hmm. So I'm pretty positive. Hazardous. Papa Phil's gonna be like, hey, welcome to PlayStation. I mean, I'm all for it. Yeah, I am too. It's an interesting, I don't, weird. You know, like, we've grown up in the many different eras. Yeah, and then, yeah, a lot, I know a lot, I think a lot of people are, I mean, you and I have definitely been more on, like, the PC side of things, right? Like, we're not really super tied to, like, the console yeah, no. this and stuff like that. That, uh, we don't feel like we're losing content or something like that by having our favorite game being on a different platform. If we're yeah. like, we're so used to being like, no, put our stuff on our platform so we can play it. <laughs> yeah, we're not part of that ecosystem, you know? It's like, imagine if you're like a, an Xbox guy and being like, oh, your Xbox is losing, I guess, a little bit of importance because it's now all your favorite games on PlayStation. But even then, it's like, come on, man, like, that's a good thing. I mean, give more people the opportunity to play Halo, more people to have a chance to experience what, like the good content that Xbox has to offer. Like, yeah, give it to the people, man. You know, in the 360 days, I was fully in. I love that ecosystem and I thought it was great. I'm here with you. Yeah, I'm we're on the other side here. Even busy. Oh, did you get you with that? Oh, damn. Yeah, they landed like right at my feet. It was a really good throw by his part. I had thrust too, and I was like, I don't have to. I could see if you were somebody who bought into the ecosystem for like Starfield and all this stuff. I can understand the level of frustration. Mm -hmm. You can have right now. Because I, from what I saw as well, that uh, they might do like timed exclusivity kind of thing. Where I That's think what I was wondering. I heard that about that with like the Indiana Jones game, right? I think maybe like the first year or six months or something like that. Like it'll be a Xbox exclusive game. And then once the time passes, it will come to PlayStation, which I think that would be probably the best way to go about doing it. So like, I'm not going to get a PS5 anytime soon because of just how expensive it still is. Mm -hmm. um, but I really want the Final Fantasy VII speaker. I'm a big Final Fantasy fan. But they put it out on PC always like a year later, you know? So I'm just gonna wait. It'll probably be the same thing like with Xbox's new strategy, you know? I'm waiting for Final Fantasy 16 to come to PC. Yeah, yeah, same. I'd... That would be awesome. I mean, I, I've worked with that game so much, too, when it comes to when I was working at GameStop to, like, advertise for it and stuff. And I never got a chance to play it because, you know, I was on PC. 
and that was yep. only on PlayStation. Even like uh, some of the guys at Square Enix even gave me a code, like here you go, and I'm like, oh, thank you, but <laughs> well, I didn't say that. I always said was thank you. Dude, they did such a great job with this map, seriously. That's insanely yeah, good. This does not look like a Forge map. No. It's definitely something like Infinite Forges. I know he does a great job of like arting up maps. And he does a fantastic... He also did like, you know, like the uh, Damnation remake as well. At least... Uh, no, I, was hey, I shouldn't say he did it because it was with, like, I think, uh, Cliff Schultz, like Black Picture from uh, 343 as well. Oh, my God. Get the headshot. When his name's on it, you know it's going to be good. There we go. Oh, there's another friendly friend over here. Oh, no, never mind. There we go. There he is. Now he's at the respawn screen. That's right. That's where I want him to be. You too. You go back. Well, how about you as well, friend? Yeah. There you go. Take a, take a break. You need it. You gotta stand up. Get your, get your, get your steps in. So good. So good. So good. Enemy there. I mean, I was going the sweet Caroline round, but that also works too. <laughs> well, my brain is great. Oh, well, I can launch originally spawn like below the uh, power thing. There's nothing that spawns down here. Yeah. yeah, the power weapon place is a little monkey. Ah! There's the skewer instead. But it's probably, you know how they do the variants of the weapon pads. The, uh, the scale of the map, too. Like, they did such a great job, like, capturing, like, it being, like, within a city kind of looking rather than, rather than like, Creating the map, and then not having like an outside, you know, ambulance area, you know. Train so hard. Did we though? 